Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome to another Let's Look At. This time we are looking at Ice Escape, a game made in Unity for phones. I think Android and iOS, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a little pre-release build to get a bit of exposure. I will say from the get-go, the game is going to be totally free and apparently have no adverts whatsoever, so this must just be the developer getting his name out. There will be relevant links in the description below. Uh, it follows the same kind of architecture as Cut the Rope, Angry Birds, etc. You can go through all the levels of trying to earn three stars. We'll jump into Start. And this preview build actually has all the levels unlocked. However, rather than show off late game, I'll just I'll show off the earlier stuff. So we'll go into the first world here as this little fun guy here. Uh, we might as well just start the first mission, I guess. So because it's actually a, a mobile game, the instructions are actually for that. I don't know if there's going to be like a, a free browser version or, or similar available, but we'll see I guess. So swipe anywhere, what it just means is use the arrow keys in this case for me. Uh, he slides until he hits an obstacle. So for those of you who have been following the series, you might be familiar with this kind of puzzle from Labyrinthian Dreams. I did a very similar thing, although in that you couldn't take left turns which made it far harder. However, the, the basic premise of this puzzle other than when it starts very easily like this to get used to things, uh, is it's sometimes hard to concentrate on these puzzles if you're trying to think about what you're saying at the same time. So bear with me if I get stuck on something which seems to be rather simple, because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm saying more so than what I'm doing. But luckily, the first few levels are very easy. You get rewarded for picking up all the bones, the key you need to finish the level, so that's the only requirement. And you get a bonus for doing that's it in right. as few moves as possible. So, let's do this one. Now this is another very easy one, just get introducing concepts. Later there's obviously hazards get, that get introduced, rather. Um, different types of dinosaur to play as. I think I've... oh, alright, here we go. Tip, free T-Bone, the Stegosaurus, rescue all ten for a special surprise. If I remember rightly, I couldn't get this one. Although I could get the second one, and this is supposed to be the easiest. So this is a little two-region map. Go down here. So as you point out, I'm, I don't think I'm in the the age range that this is perhaps meant for. Um, I would say younger people would definitely enjoy it. So if I grab this key, oh and then I just go over here. Why didn't I think of that the first time I was doing this? I mean I'm distracting myself by talking and I worked out this time. Wow. So I'm not sure what he does exactly. Um, I think he kills all the enemies that he touches, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to miss some bones when I do this though. Oh well, that's fine. I freed the Stegosaurus. I'm still not sure what happens when you free all them. So this is the first one with uh, an enemy in it. Uh, but easy enough to avoid if we just go down here, down here, down here. Uh, have I done that wrong? No. I, mm -mm. Oh no, no, I see. I'm so used to doing... No, wait. Yes, yes. Almost didn't work that out there. So as I was saying, I don't think I'm in the particular age range that this is meant for. Uh, I... I like it from a kind of puzzle point of view, it does get quite challenging the further you go with it. I would imagine younger people would find it far more enjoyable, and you know, it's fair enough that it might be aimed at them. So this is probably not going to be an overly long look at the video as I say, because you will get the gist of this type of game very uh, very early. And it is free, and it's interesting that it's both free on phones and also ad free, so there's really no harm in having it just as a little thing to play. Oh, okay, uh, touching that does... Oh right, I changed the stage. Okay, so I can't get back. That's fine. I remember doing this now. There we go. I did it in minimum moves. All the bones collected. How many is that? That's... I think we'll probably get through... Oh, okay, so this one's got a target that... Yep. I'll do all of this first world and then, I don't know, I'll skip to maybe four in that I haven't even seen yet and probably embarrass myself with how overly complicated it's become. But we'll see. So let's go up here, wait for that to explode, there we are. I suppose one other thing the game's got going for it as well, with the proliferation of this type of game, if you go the Angry Birds route of like monetizing and microtransactioning absolutely everything, all you'll do is alienate and piss off your fans. So it's nice that there is free options kind of trying to get them back in line. Like you don't have the monopoly of this type of game anymore. We can do it and we won't poor every little thing, every plant, every bird. Sorry, I'm getting off on an angry tangent now. Uh, also, I've few, I missed a turn back there, didn't I? I think I did. Let's just go around again in the cycle and I should be able... Yeah, I see what I did. Okay, there we go. 
Now, how many worlds, uh, how many levels was it per world? I can't remember, but I think I'm almost there. Just go down here. Uh, if I want to get all of them, I'm going to have to go round. There we are. I didn't do that last time. I remember not bothering. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't the exit. That was just the key for the exit. Um. Bounce back. Thank you. And then we'll go over here, along here. Uh, oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Down, down, down. Wait for him to pass. Although you can take three hits before you die, so it's not like. Although I assume it penalizes. There we go. We're into the second world where we would be playing this mammoth guy. Uh, I'll show off one level as him. So his thing is, there's boulders and he can push them, which changes the dynamics of where you're able to, like, you slide for, to and from, because he's moved them. Uh, and obviously it starts very simply, but I'll I'll go to one of the harder ones and see if I can embarrass myself on how hard it gets. So if I go back to menu, uh, which back button is it? No, that just changed it from being locked to being unlocked. Uh, oh, up here. There we go, so we're going to start. Uh, I won't show off the latter half, so if I say... pick this one, what does this one do? The train, okay, let's see. Oh, have I to steer all three of them? Wow. Okay, I may be in over my head here, because I don't know the abilities of this person It's maybe play as first. Presumably there's some kind of power they have? Oh, I see. Okay, so standing on the switches do that. However, it might be slightly foolish of me to do this when I don't know the button to change character, possibly just click. It's not just click. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, that was a mistake. Also, I seem to have made the menu disappear by accident. There's no pictures down below anymore and I can't click. You can actually click on things because it introduces ice blocks that you're supposed to, like if you were using a phone, you would just be tapping the phone to break the ice and you have to be strategic about what point you break them at. Um, but obviously because I'm using a PC pre-release build, you just have to tap with the mouse. Although it took me a little while to work that out, but he did warn me in, in emails that you know the menus were still in mind of the phone. Okay so, okay, so because I've jumped into something, I shouldn't have really because I don't know how to change characters and... Oh wait, there we go! I'm not quite sure how I did that. I think I just pressed the action button. No, okay, but now I don't know why I can't shove that boulder. Or why I can't change back to anyone else. Hmm, strange. Well, I think my goal was to thoroughly embarrass myself, and I feel that I've achieved that. So this was Ice Escape. And, as I say, it's going to be on mobile devices, it's going to be totally free, there's not going to be ads, there's not going to be microtransactions or anything like that. Uh, the link in the video will take you to, I think it's his official Facebook page, just with further information about release and what format you can get it on. I don't know if it's going to be on PC, you will need to see and ask the man himself about that. Anyway, this was a short one, but I wanted to give this cute little game a look. Maybe not one for most of my viewers, but if you have younger family members, etc, I think they would be into this and it's one of those safe ones they can play because there's no hidden charges etc etc. So, ta-ta for now!